What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl, Skitten. It's your boy, Steven. I mean, Chavez. Steven Universe got black people in it, so it's great. I saw this uh, list that like talked about how Steven Universe shoves liberal ideas down kids' throats. Hell yeah! And I was like, man, they're only liberal. Like candy. If, really, only liberal if you don't believe in them, aren't they? Like anybody who's seen the show, like it's just a fucking show. Like it's not, it's really not that bad. It just has a black person in it. <laughs> like that's, like you're like, it's got gay people in it. Like they're not like, they're, gay is great. They're just like, it's a gay person and they do stuff while being gay. Like that's not, man, our ideas are completely different. It'd almost be like being yelled at or demonized for being gay. That's not like shoving people's ideas down your throat, doesn't it? Agreed. Yeah, not just like existing and being like, that person exists. You're showcasing that these people exist. Like, man. How dare you? Dude. That reminds me. I don't know if y'all have picked up on this from other comments, but my family is a lot. I'm hiding my face. <laughs> my family is very conservative. Hey, I don't, I don't exist right and now. And so, like, my dad was talking about how Nashville, the show Nashville is... <laughs> My dad's talking about how he doesn't want, he stopped watching the show Nashville and how he thinks it's gotten worse. And he said, you know, he was talking to me about it the other day. He's like, you know, you know where they went wrong was they started trying to push the gay thing. And I was like, <laughs> I, was like I was like, dad, you can't. Yo, yo, man. Dad, I don't think they tried to push the gay, they just, they were just showing <laughs> That like gay people exist and that it's hard to be gay like a lot. He was like, but man, if they would have just minded their own business and just stopped trying to push yeah. the gay, like nobody wants to see all that. And I was like, I mean, I'm pretty Dude, sure gay people. That is the number one <laughs> comment where you could tell you're heading in a different direction. When you watch some regular shit, like two dudes holding hands and somebody goes, nobody wants to see all that. See the hand touching? Man, not like they're not even doing hand humping. They're just holding hands. Like that, come on, bro. Like, hey, I get it if you personally don't want to watch a gay sex scene. I think that's fine. Right. That just that just in makes sense. In front of sense. my salad? Dude, don't do it in front of my salad. All right? I understand that. <laughs> I can respect that. But like, when I watch regular shit, like they somebody gives somebody a peck on the cheek and people go, oh my god. I'm like, adults. Like, dude, y'all. Can y'all chill? You've never out. seen two gay people kiss ever in public? Just like, it's just there and you just can't just handle that? Just move? You ain't got to look at it. And it's, it's so funny because people it. be like, I don't want to see two dudes making out in public. I'm like, look, nobody wants to see you and your ugly wife make out in public yo, either, Jim Bob. Yo, they be but so y'all do that shit these for people. no goddamn reason. These this ugly ass old these ugly ass old people yeah. were like making out in a fucking booth at work today. And I was bro, like, could y'all not? Bro, the skin be like flapping from their cheek pouches <laughs> into each other, like smacking. <laughs> they be drooling on themselves because they can't <laughs> keep the spit in their mouth because they bottom lip don't work. And they talk about gay people. People. You'd be like, yo, them bitches out there fine as fuck. Like, them dudes out there cut as shit, and they just like, and that's cool. And you'll be over there slobbering on each other. You what we really don't want to see, bro. Making noise. Dude, the fucking, the fucking dirt. But be honest also, that's how many happen. shows actually have gay sex scenes other than Shameless? Nigga, that shit don't be happen. Be real. It, it just don't happen. You just don't see it. We are, now that we've talked all of that shit, we are here for r slash petty. Revenge. Man, I wish I had some petty revenge to talk about, but I don't really care about petty revenge. I don't have any petty revenge. It's just not my thing. Man. I think of a lot of petty things to do, but I don't ever do them because it usually happens at work and I don't want to get fucking fired. Well, I'll give you that. A better tip. A couple months back, my boyfriend and I went out for drinks one night at this cool little speakeasy in Montreal. It's I was about to say, that shit didn't happen, but then you said Montreal and I was like, all of this shit is about to happen. Speakeasy's here in Vegas too. Interesting place. You come in through an office. I thought you were gonna say more, and then it just like ended. I thought you were gonna say something place about it. I thought really you were like, nice vibe going yeah. On once you get inside. Like I'm just no, saying, species exist. This is one exist. of those bars where the server comes to your table and serves the drinks, rather than one where you order at the bar and take the drinks back yourself. We were seated at our table by the server. We ordered a couple coffee. Hey, there's not nearly enough Canadian accent in the way this is written. Just saying. I don't have I don't have I a Canadian accent more. to try with either. I, I don't, don't think you can write in a Canadian accent, which is the joke there. Can you? 
Am I missing something here? Just write a boot a lot. A boot and a. A boot. Or how does, how does Robert say a, a boat? A boat. A boot. That each time we had to order, my boyfriend or I would have to go fetch the server so he would take our order or go up to the bar, order, and then bring What a the shitty speaky speakeasy, man. Then yeah, when he's it struggling. Time for the bill, I went up again so he would come to our table. He came and thought we were going to order again despite me clearly asking for the bill when I went up. So he went back to get the card machine, and it was another 10 minutes before he was back. At Jesus this point, I was quite ticked off at the speakeasy. not so great. No, not generally that was big. debating whether or not I should tip him. The screen had an option for 10%, 15%, 20%, or other. Yep. I decided to just leave 10%. That 10% is that you can go fuck yourself, amount. I don't fucking like you. As I wanted to avoid an argument with the server, Montreal service employees are pretty damn notorious uh, when it comes to the expectation okay. of Good tips. to know. Yeah. Go to he prints out the receipt. But nah, what does it matter to you? You fucking tip like a boatload every time. So what does that matter? I tip twenty percent. You tip. It's good. Damn, she lying, bro. She like looked at twenty percent and she like I have like extra five ten dollars in my purse. No, I don't. Sees I left ten percent. He then asked if we had a nice evening. To which my boyfriend responded that we did. We both thought it was just a standard question, so we didn't bother telling him about the poor service received, especially because it wouldn't really make a difference at this point. The guy then says, "Oh well, if you had such a nice time, then you should have left at least." Nigga, if you don't wow. tip, because in Canada, it's customary to leave a minimum 15% when the service is good. I'm guessing the reason he felt the need to outline that's how it is in Canada is because I'm a brown guy. Uh, now, hey, uh, understandable uh, though. You're and, shoving, you're shoving your liberal ideals down my throat. Uh, but I'm just, I'm just brown. I didn't even say black. I said brown. I didn't know this was a gay couple. <laughs> <laughs> shoved down my throat. Hey man, I just, hey man. Sound brown. Now comes the petty part. I responded, Oh, I didn't know. Why don't you cancel this bill and redo it so I can tip you properly? He said, Sure thing. Just give me a second because oh, the man no. has to approve bill cancellation. Oh, Again, no. We waited a good 10 minutes. Wait a minute. In his yep. defense, maybe it was hard to find a Wait a minute, though, yo. Because once he came back, I put in the pin and then selected the <laughs> other option for tip and left him 0%. <laughs> no. He printed out the receipt and his look of disbelief was well worth it. We got up and my my white Canadian boyfriend said, Our only tip for you is to give better service and not be so much no! of an asshole. In Canada, we don't really like assholes. Blame Canada. Blame Canada. I'm taking that shit out. That is claim as a motherfucker. Fringe. Consider subscribing this episode. Damn. I would never. I would never in my life take a tip back and leave zero. Unless it says something like really fucking douchebaggish. But. Did we, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't, we've never been called out for our tips. That's just not a. I guess it's because we're in Vegas, in though. In Vegas, you can't do that shit in Vegas. You nah. will, you will be fired. Yeah. One hundred percent. I will, I will ask for your manager you immediately, fired. and I don't even do that shit. I don't even give a fuck who your manager is when I go out to eat. If it's bad, I'm just never coming back. Yeah. But I would ask for your manager straight up. We have a very set tipping policy. Mm -hmm. You know, we discuss the tip. We're like, how did you feel? Do you feel good? Do you feel great? Blah, blah, blah. If you feel great, it's probably going to be between 18 and 20%. If we just feel good, it's between that, you know, hey, 16 that, and 18%. That and if it was bad, we'll leave probably 15%. I try not to ever leave we less try than not, We try not to leave less than 15 it doesn't matter about the bill, because you got to keep that in mind before you go out to eat. We'd been to that sushi place several times, always gotten like, okay. There are a couple nope. times we got great service. Every other time it was like, okay service. And we, you, I don't know. I feel like we don't really go to sushi for the service. We don't, but we got great service. We figured this out the last time because it was the floor manager that ended up taking care of us. Yeah. So we actually got trash service because we didn't know that that wasn't our server. Right. The manager came and touched the, the table. The manager came, touched the table. We were like, yeah, you know, he took our first order so we're yep. like okay so took takes our first order thought that our was our server yeah didn't realize that's a manager right yeah get our food people next to us server goes up to them takes their order brings back their food we're finished with our food we're waiting for it's all you can eat we're waiting we're hey, ready let's grow the people next to us have not even finished their first thing of set and the server's already back there yeah. asking if they want more food yep so we go up to the hostess we ask the hostess hey can you help us we, don't know, we don't know who our service is. We don't know who our service is, but we're ready to order more food. Yeah, 
you know? And she just looking like, damn, she been over there like a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's when we figured out that the server at the table next to us was our server and just wasn't going to they, our table. Yeah. I looked at him and I was like, I'm not tipping her. Yeah. I was like, but I don't want to not tip her. I said, hey, you know what we could do though? That manager was great. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to not tip her, but everyone else has to miss out because she was shitty. So. No, they don't. You know, <laughs> so we went and we tipped the hostess. Yeah. We tipped the floor manager and we tipped the busser. And we told the manager, we are not tipping your server because she did not ever come and to he our knew. table. He already knew. And he was like, oh, sorry. You know, she was busy. We we're like, no, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. That. What was it? That we over tipped hella just we to be tipped, petty. Yeah, we made sure everybody we knows. We got what? The hostess got ten. Yeah. The runner got twenty. The floor manager got another we twenty. We a lot of money. We're that like, day. here you That's go. That's about as petty as we get right there. Fuck Let that me shit. spend my money on other people. Fuck you. Let's continue this video. I'm so Stupid sorry. Stupid woman, best water department workers. What? My ex-husband and I bought our home from his parents. They had the house built in the 50s. Oh, no. For years, father-in-law wanted to install a shutoff valve in the utility room to, you know, shut off the water to the whole house to do some repairs. Plumber told him it would cost a large amount of money because they could not find the shutoff from the city water main at the street, the Buffalo Box, aka Water Main Shutoff Valve. Okay. Since the Buffalo Box was MIA, they would have to freeze the pipes to stop the water before installing the shutoff valve. It was an expensive process to freeze the pipe so it never got done. Right. When we bought the house, we decided to get the shutoff valve installed. We called the water department and they sent two workers to shut off the water. Yeah. Right. When they arrived, I explained the problem. They went out to the front yard, walked around a bit, and told me there was nothing they could do for me. According to the two workers, it was my problem that they could not find the buffalo box and that I should call a plumber to dig up my Yo, front yard what? and city easement what? to find my buffalo box. First of all, if that shit's not marked when you bought it, and like of course you wouldn't know that, but like you check for that shit before you buy a home. Like same thing with all your electrical work. Look, like, you have to check that shit. You can't just buy a house and not know where your shit is. That doesn't make any sense, but I, mean, I understand. They already knew they didn't know where it was. You know, the father-in-law is pretty clear about it. But I'm saying, like, you make the people you're buying it from find that shit. I mean, it's their father-in-law. You know, it's her. It's her. I'm playing the video. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I have a background in residential real estate construction, and I was familiar with how water mains and buffalo boxes are installed. And I told them it was the city's issue, as they were responsible for the buffalo box, right. not the yeah, whole but city stuff. It should be on a blueprint with like a little X, like this is where we put the shit at. It's like Somewhere. not. It's Someone not has complicated. The but I'm just saying, like before you buy this shit, how does nobody ever know? If your house floods, everybody's fucked. According to these guys, as a woman, I did not know what I was talking about, and they left. They were incredibly rude about it, but peons like these think they can peons. get away with being hey, that's what's up. ignorant woman. She's like, like I got you. To a year or so later, I get a call from the city manager asking why I hadn't paid my water bill for over a year. I told him that I wanted to pay, oh my God. Bill, but I wanted them to first turn off my water. <laughs> he was a bit taken <laughs> back that I wanted them to turn off the water. So I explained what the city would be. <laughs> Fucking dead. Yeah? If you don't know what a box is, I gotta pay my bill because you can't turn the shit off. So let's just calculate how much money it's gonna cost me on this water bill, because as long as it's less than that product, I ain't paying shit. Yep. Let's do it. Just told me about oh, locating God. the buffalo box and their attitude. Oh God, I'm so type of things. I also told him that if the city could not turn off my water, <laughs> I would be happy to have free water forever because I would never pay another yeah. bill. This is the perfect storm. We had a nice long chat about the situation and he said oh that he would resolve God. my concerns. The next day, these same two <laughs> guys show up at my house with some digging equipment and spend the whole day digging up the easement. Good. The Let's get it. Their attitudes Good. were rather soft. He and found the, the same two niggas too. I know, you know he did. He said, like, I'm gonna find out who it was that went out there. Let's go, hey, it's time to get digging. To give them a talking to about how they mishandled the situation, uh, I even got an apology. Good shit. They found the buffalo box under the city-owned sidewalk. Oh, God. They fixed the buffalo box so it would be accessible and came the next day to fix the sidewalk. Yeah, they that's great. They asked if I wanted the water turned off. 
declined and I told them I would have my plumber take care of it when we had him install the interior shut off. That's fan. amazing. And then I paid the water bill. <laughs> that is the best thing I've that is ever really heard. Good. I oh support that God. 100%. I love that. I fucking love that. That was, you know, so I feel like some of these petty revenge things are just like kind of mean. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them, which is fine. I'm like, I'm not the nicest hey, person. What she did is but done in the did, worst way possible, man. No, I, I disagree. 100% bad intentions. Yeah, but yeah. bad intentions. That's but what, I'm what she about. did was mass. I'm saying, like, the, I feel like the bad intentions aren't what make it mean. You know what I mean? Uh huh. When, like, I don't like the ones where people are like, well, the guy was mean to me, so then I pooped in his oatmeal and he ate it and I watched him eat. Like, that shit, I'm like. Well, I don't support anything in these that are necessarily illegal or hurtful to the other people, like physically or yeah. unnatural harm. And uh, that's where the pettiness kind of is a, is a fine line. It's on a knife's edge, really. Right. Because the pettiness has to be mean spirited. It's not petty if it's not mean spirit. It's not acci right. it's accidental. It's more like instant karma, you know, area. Like if you are, if you have the intention to cause the harm to the person, it, you know, then it, that that's where petty is at. Yeah. And that's why I keep telling people, I'm not petty. I don't like that type of shit. You know what I mean? Like her situation, that's the perfect storm, man. That was great. That it, was phenomenal. And there are so many situations where they can dig up a certain portion and then leave you accountable for something else. That mm -hmm. happens, such as like damages to your home yeah. and pipes and things like that. And that's why I say at the beginning, because this story is perfect. It's the perfect encapsulation of it. But most of the time it is on the homeowner because all they have to do is check the shit that they own and then say, well, you guys must have made changes because this is where we thought it was at and it's not here. And that, that's what the state will do 100% of the yeah. time. It's not their fault and you got to pay me. So what's up? What? And then you could tell they had a conversation about it. But why would you want that? Oh, you wanted us to get it fixed. Oh, when they said what? Like, you know, right. I can hear the manager typing like clickety clack. Uh-huh. And then what happened? They said what to you? And you know what? Like I that's feel like ridiculous. He was probably, like he started off the conversation. He was like, ma'am, so you have mm -hmm. to pay your water bill. How can we yeah. help you? And she's like, nah, nigga, I got the money, bitch. <laughs> I got you, nigga. But first, do this. I love it. Yeah, this is such feel good stories, man. It's getting anything else to say before we end the video? Uh, nah, just make sure you keep your eyes out for new content from me and both of Chavez's channels. Hey. Cause my man has what? Two channels. That's that's back from the two jobs jokes getting yeah. you to make a long time ago. Yeah. How long have you been watching me? Do you know? If I you know. Don't, bat fan. Bat fan. Bat fan. Go, bat fan. go watch my other every videos. Every video. Go watch new. every video. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. Peace.